What did you want to be when you grew up? A bat. No, I'm just gonna be a dick, be like, haha, a baseball bat. Anyway. I woke up late today. Actually, I do that every day. Hello again, internet, and welcome back to another episode of Dr. Charmander Gaming. I'm Dr. Charmander, and as you can see from the background, it's a little bit different. If you want to know why, it's because we moved. We moved to the middle of America uh, so that I can continue my doctor training. We're going to continue with more Drink Daddy um, and see what other ridiculous decisions I do or don't make. I really want to see um, what is it, the goth person's house. That would be really entertaining for me. Um, so let's continue. Amanda and I walk back to our place as the sun sets over the neighborhood. <laughs> Pretty fun party, don't you think? It's a networking event. I mean, this is how I normally feel when I go outside. I'm gonna get LinkedIn notifications all out of this. I just know it. <laughs> mm -hmm. You don't think it's nice that people want to connect with you? If that's what you want to call it. Not when their affection jams up my inbox, metaphorically speaking. Mm -hmm. Well, hey, at least you met some other cool dads. You should just hit them up on Dadbook. Maybe I will, if I ever figure out how social media works. Spoken like a true dad. I have a good feeling about this place. Yay! Me too, dad. Aunt and I arrive at home with the remnants of our veggie plate. <laughs> Alright, that's what we brought, because we suck. Um, it seems like nobody was really into the cauliflower. Any big plans for this evening? You know, because you kicked me out of the house last time and hung out with your Emma friends? <laughs> Actually, yeah, I'm going out with some friends. All right, we need to talk to her. I really want to know what's going on with my daughter. Oh, mm. is that okay? Of course, just keep me posted and be home before midnight. Mm. Can I know which friends? I would ask that question, maybe it's because I got asked that question. It's like, which friends? You know, the ones from school. Um, you got it. And be careful. I will. Make good choices. Yeah. Like me, of course. And call me if you need anything. <laughs> Dad, you're not gonna do the thing where you wait silently for me to come home in the living room with all the lights off, are you? No, what? No, I would never do that. I have, what? No, I have never done that and will never do that. Mm -hmm. Totally. Okay, do you have plans tonight? I, uh,. My, my plans were kind of to eat ice cream and watch TV with Amanda, but I'll find something to do. Who can I hang out with? I'm gonna... Oh, I just came from a party. I'm not gonna throw a party. Introvert style. See how long I can sleep for. Work on some stuff. Let's finally sleep, because we've been sleeping on the couch forever. Kiddo, I'm tapped out. Hmm. The sun hasn't even gone down yet. I've cord to the windows, it's out. I'm so... I don't know how time works in this game. I don't know. I still have sleep to catch up on from when you were a baby. Just let me be. I'm just relaxing tonight. Have fun, okay? okay. Great. See you later. I wonder if anyone's gonna stop by, even though I said I'm just gonna stay home. <laughs> I watch Amanda drive off into the night. Oh, right, she can drive. I keep thinking that she's like 14. Maybe that's just my parental, like... Mindset. It's just like, oh, my little girl. She's just my little girl forever. Um, I watch Amanda drive off into the night. I really do hope she has fun. I plop down in front of the TV and turn on some wine and dine mastermind with celebrity chef Gavin Chapman. Looks like Gavin's making a roasted rack of lamb with rosemary mashed potatoes. Oh, that sounds good. I'd love to be able to cook like that. Although. I think if I was actually good at cooking, I'd use my powers for evil, making baked Alaskas all day instead of any food for real nutritional substance. What's baked Alaska? I think I'll have to look that up. My selective, uh, my selective uh, shelteredness is coming up. Man, Gavin Chapman just caught that thing on fire, but he meant to do it. What a professional! I don't know what he's talking about. I've definitely never heard myself while cooking. I lose track of time as I blaze through several episodes of Wine and Dine Mastermind, and also one episode of some cooking show called Meat Hell. <laughs> Meat Hell, eh? <laughs> um, I think I've called some bars that in my life. I'm not even sure what that one was about. It's just a lot of yelling. 
I glance at my watch. Man, it's almost midnight. I should check in with Amanda. I send a text. Hey, kiddo, you good? Come on, text me back. I'm on in the kitchen and I wait for a reply. Amanda's phone is almost always in her hands, so I'm sure she'll respond soon, unless she's driving home now, in which case, I hope she doesn't respond soon, because I definitely taught her to be better than, da, taught her better than to text and drive. I reach in the freezer and grab an ice cream sandwich. Yes! It's a little late for this, but I think I earned it after a long day of socializing. I relate so much. I check my watch again, and then my phone. Nothing yet. Aw, oh, jeez! The anxiety's mounting! Okay, now I'm worried. Do I call her? Do I call the cops? It's quite the jump, but okay. Deep breaths, deep breaths. No, no. It's too soon for that. I'll just send her a gentle reminder text. What's up? Half an hour passes. Now I'm really world worried. The episodes of Gavin Chapman's Meat Hell only not assuaging my anxiety, but possibly exacerbating it with all the yelling, so I keep pacing around the house waiting for her to come back. Why didn't I find out where she was going, who she was with? Why don't I know any of her friends' phone numbers? Why don't I know any of her friends' full names? That's a bad thing to do. Like, I think when I started dating, my sister did sneak out to the garage and snap photos of whoever I was going out with, uh, license plates, uh, and just kept them on file. I'm not saying you should do that, I think you should know the full names at very least. Who is MAP? I decide to send her another text. Amanda, please text me and let me know you're okay. I can't help but think of all the awful things that could have happened to her. I think this man has got a little bit of anxiety and a little bit of worry, especially after losing your partner. Oh, thank God it's her. Amanda opens the door and shuffles in. Finally, finally she's back home. I'm glad she's okay. So, sweetie, thank God you're safe. Aww. I, yep. Now that, I know, now that I know that she's okay, I'm really mad. Why didn't you answer my texts? Amanda pulls her phone out hmm. of her pocket. Oh, whoops. Guess I didn't see those. Uh-oh. She starts to walk into her room. Amanda Ann. Huh? Whoa. We're pulling out the middle name now? You came home an hour and a half after your curfew and you didn't respond to any of my texts. You really freaked me out. I was about to call the cops. Hmm. Dad, you're seriously overreacting. You're not going to be like this when I go off to school, are you? Oh no. I don't want to do this. I don't want a parent. I wanted all the fun aspects of being a parent with actu without actually having to parent. Uh, I have a right to be concerned. You're my only daughter. Whoa. That's, my, that's a total Bioware moment where what came out of my mouth was very different from what I intended. Well, I can't give you a play-by-play -play of everything I do all the time. I'm 18 and you should even be giving me a curfew in the first place. Ooh, but you live in my house. 50 bucks says that's the next line. I sit down on the couch and put my head in my hands. I feel very tired all of a sudden. You really scared me. Just please don't do that again. Alright, I'm gonna go to bed now. Amanda closes the door to her room and I head to mine. Jeez. As I'm falling asleep, one of the things she said keeps echoing in my mind. Oh no. You're not gonna be like this when I go off to school, are you? Ooh, the reality sets in! I definitely didn't sleep well last night. I brew some strong coffee and make some scrambled eggs for Amanda as a peace offering. She eventually wanders into the kitchen. Hey! Uh. I thought about what you said last mm. night. I should have texted you. I said I was gonna do it and I didn't. I honestly just didn't even think about it. Oh, how responsible. I'm glad you're taking responsibility for what you did wrong. Just don't do it again. Oh. I'm really sorry, Pops. I won't do it again. Well... I'm sorry for freaking out on you. You're an adult now. I shouldn't have gotten so worked up. Mm. Team Bull? Team Bull, right, because my name is Iron Bull. God, I... Again, wish we had a different name. Amanda gives me a hug. Yay, we're okay. Want some eggs? <laughs> you know it. Sprinkle some cheese on them. Mm. Already All did. Right. Bless you. Amanda scarfs down the eggs in the time it takes me to wash the pan. All right, I'm off to school. Smell you later. Wait, one more thing before you go. Mm. What? What's dad book? Oh. 
It's a social media platform. Oh good, you're at school. I'm gonna sit on the internet and uh, connect. Don't I have a job? I feel like you should have a job. <laughs> what? It's a social media platform. Oh lordy lord. Dad, I have to go to school. Come on, Amanda, I'm an old man. I can't put together a dad book profile on my own. Hmm. Alright. I'll help you sound interesting on the internet. Ugh. Amanda spends the next couple of minutes setting up my profile on dad book, which, as it turns out, is a place where dads can get together and talk about fatherhood. A nice dad support group. Alright, Pops. We gotta fill out your profile. Let's add some likes and dislikes. Oh man, do I get to make a profile within a profile of a game? On Friday night, you're most likely to... Man. <laughs> Fall asleep watching the History Channel. Yes. Torment my children with damp hands. Sink into blissful... Sink into blissful oblivion. Netflix and grill! We're gonna go with the History Channel. If you had one thing to take with you onto a desert island, what would it be? My trusty grill. The lost shaker of salt. Cast away on DVD for instructional purposes. <laughs> a boat, obviously. I don't need anything. My survival skills have plain trained me for this day. All those haunted trucker shows. I mean, a boat, obviously. What are your turn-ons? Oh my. Uh, strong dad arms. Tennis shoes with long white socks. A well manicured lawn, street smarts, top tier grillmanship, comfortable with crying. Well, as a therapist, I'm gonna have to go with comfortable with crying. Express your emotions, they're important. What did you want to be when you grew up? Technical writer for manuals and instructionals, salty boat captain, per skater who is also an astronaut, ooh, <laughs> a good father. The president of space. That's a lot to be president of. That's a lot of votes to keep track of. Let's just be ridiculous. So I pro skate myself into space. Just off the ramp. Win! What's your favorite movie genre? War documentaries. Sean Connery's entire filmography. Anything on laser discs. Laser disc. Man, I remember when that was happening for all of 20 minutes. Romantic comedies. Whatever will make me cry. Okay, we're a little bit overboard on all the crying things now. Old comedies that haven't aged well. <laughs> oh my. Uh. How about for my dude, war documentaries? Because that's on the History Channel. What's your ideal date? Napping together, doing a 1,000 piece puzzle together, eating a healthy dinner at 4 p.m., trying to geocache but getting hopelessly lost. <laughs> I did that for a hot minute and did get pretty lost. Arson, being emotionally vulnerable. Well, arson sounds pretty fun. And I hate being outside. Let's do a puzzle. What do you never leave home without? A sensible cardigan, my sick vape, my book of word jumbles and a pen, a cool knife, my cripplingly low self-esteem. Uh, <laughs> anyone who is creating this just like self-inserting a little bit much. I frequently forget my phone keys and wallet at home sometimes. That's a lot to forget at home. How do you forget your keys? That's just... I don't know how you do that. Um, I mean, I get cold very easily, so a sensible cardigan. I spend a lot of time thinking about conspiracy theories. How proud I am of my child. Potential ends of the world. Um, <laughs> if I'll ever be able to love myself as much as I love my grill. <laughs> uh, when I can next get a cup of coffee. Oh yes, that's me. Lawnmower modifications. It's coffee. It's coffee. Profile complete! Hooray! See, that wasn't so bad. Oh. Yeah, that was actually kind of fun. I could totally spend all day on here, just looking at people's profiles. But don't you have a job? We need to provide for our family. You should message one of them. Or more than one of them. All of these dads seem pretty interesting. Okay. 
Is the network only these dads? Do I want to not catfish another dad? That would be bad. Okay, I promise I'll make some friends. <laughs> My homework is to make friends. Amanda gives yeah. me a hug. Go get him, dad. Welcome. You've got dads. <laughs> You've got dads. All right, now that I have compulsively saved, let's read everybody's profile. Oh, Mr. Mysterious. Let's see. Mr. Robert Small. When the internet gains sentience and decides to destroy us all, you'll know it'll use this information against us, right? Oh, I see. The conspiracy theories are you. If you had one thing to take onto a desert island, what would be a gun? What are your turn-ons? Don't talk to me. The date is grave robbing, so I feel like arson could have been the choice if I wanted to date you. At least four knives. Never leave home without at least four knives. <laughs> I don't have enough hands for that many knives. Box of energy bars. A sub six minute mile. <laughs> Beer pong world champion. What? Extra tube of energy gel? That sounds gross. I spent a lot of time thinking about My mile time used to be so good. What happened? Have I peaked? Other. Matt Sella. I have a music enthusiast, passionate coffee drinker. Yes. Um, you find me most days selling bean juice over the coffee spoon or hanging out at the park with my amazing daughter. Hit me up for about 80s no wave music. Okay. What did you want to be when you grew up? A barista, weirdly enough. <laughs> Good for you. You've accomplished your life streams. What's your favorite movie genre? Shit with subtitles. <laughs> like any thing with subtitles? It could be like. Anyway. Which ideal date? We go to the animal shelter and seriously consider adopting a cat. <gasps> I love animals. They're so great. I spent a lot of time thinking about where did writing commas into song titles come from and where did it go? Did we all just agree that it's a bad idea? I mean, Panic at the Disco does it pretty often. Brian, we don't like you. The competitive dad. If you like fishing, then we'll get along. I don't. Fishing pole? That's sensible. Very sensible. What's your favorite movie genre? Run into comedies. Are you the one that we would have matched with if we were comfortable with crying all the time? Damien, I haven't talked to you much. How do you do? I finally decided to join this information superhighway. I'm not entirely sure how this works, but I'll try my- I will try my best to understand. I love long strolls through graveyards and spending time with my son. If you would ever like to chat about the latest in Victorian fashion, I'm pretty sure the latest had an end, if we're talking about Victorian fashion, but okay. The inevitability of our own demise, or black cats, please send me a letter. Very specific. On a Friday night, you're most likely to listen to true crime pop podcast while I text Jeremy my newest specimens. I want to know what you already have. I'm just so curious about your house. I just want to see your house. I mean, is that enough to validate trying to date you? A coffin. I mean, I guess I could double as a boat. What do you turn on? Connecting bosom correctly. I don't even know if I did it right. What did you want to be when you grew up? A bat. Now I'm just gonna be a dick, be like, Haha, a baseball bat. Anyway, I spend a lot of time thinking about mortality salience. Mortality salience. Just like how often death is on your mind. So are you like meta thinking? Middle school teacher, high school teacher, writer of scholarly articles in the 18th century literature for various esteemed publications. Whew, ugh. If you're on here to tell me that my son put a cherry bomb in your trash, I know and I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. On Friday night, you're most likely to brew some strong tea and paint my miniatures. I wonder what miniatures he has. Favorite document. Favorite movie, John? Documentaries and art history. Could that coincide with war documentaries? To your ideal date, each of us read a different book on opposite sides of the couch in comfortable silence. I like that. That's very realistic. Do you know really home without my glasses? Actually, I forget them at home a lot. See that he doesn't have them in his photo. Joseph. Mr. Cookies. <laughs> Voted me with these. Number one youth minister for five years running. <laughs> Living in my hometown with my beautiful wife and our four amazing kids. If I'm not in church, you can catch me out on the open water, setting sail on the seas of adventure. I love playing guitar and crushing my kids at Candyland. 
Uh, so I guess you're supposed to be like the the poster dad. You turn on to my loving wife. To your ideal date, lovely night on the town with my wife. P.S. I have a wife. By the way, I have a wife. P.S. My wife. I have a lot of time thinking about how I can be a better man, husband, and father. I become very suspicious of you, sir. Very suspicious. Something's wrong. What are your dark secrets? Well, we know your dark secret is your wife hitting on random people in the bar, but that's beside the point. I think we're gonna go through with this and message Robert. We ended up making this decision anyway. Robert was pretty nice, a little odd, but nice. And ruggedly handsome. We should hang out. I type out a message to him on Dadbook. I just want to know about you. Hey Robert, good seeing you again at the cookout. Wanna grab a drink? I said before a couple of seconds, hoping he'll message me back. Oh no. Hey, it says that he read my message. I bet he's not gonna answer. I anxiously wait for a response. Watch cat videos. I start down a rabbit hole of cat videos and Robert quickly quickly vanishes from my mind. Thank god. Can't deal with that type of consciously ignoring you. Yeah. I didn't realize how long I've been doing this by the time I watch maybe my 30th cat video, Robert packs and ba pops back into my head. I jump back over to Dadbook and see if he's responded yet. Nothing. Just as I thought. Well, I guess the guy's busy. I might as well make the best of my day. Am I only going to message one person a day? That's terrible. Why can't I message everyone at once? That's how everyone else operates. I get up and walk to the living room, and then sit down and turn on the TV. Is he going to like show up at my door? I'm tired of that. Um, game show. Ooh, family fortune's on. Alright, Nicole, your parents are in the lead, and it's up to you to win it big. Are you ready? Probably not. I'm ready! They hook the contestant up to a lie detector in front of her parents. <sighs> Ooh. Who is your favorite parent? That's mean. My mom? Oh, sorry, incorrect. Next question. If both of your parents were hanging off the edge of a cliff, which would you say? This is the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> this is terrible. I love it. Oh, God. At least several hours to whatever the hell that was. Sighing, I get up and walk around the house. My stomach grumbles. You could have messaged everybody and... Time for lunch, huh? Well, I guess it's time for old Chef Bull to cook up a gourmet delicacy. Oh my god, please don't just eat the mustard jar. Oh, no, no. We're gonna... Ew, microwave some eggs? Are they egg microwaved from this morning's eggs? Or am I gonna microwave some raw eggs? That's a little horrifying. Let's just make a sandwich to be safe. I make a sandwich in its entirety while standing there and eats plates. I've done that. The Standwich, a lost art. I admire my work for a second before I clumsily drop the entire thing on the floor. No! Clearly you're out of practice. No! Tragedy. I look around and remember that a man is not home. This is still good. <laughs> Five second rule, right? Ugh. I guess it's a new house. Ew. I reassemble my sandwich, peeling pickles off the floor and putting them back where they belong. In my mouth. Wait, I'm a wreck. Finish my snack and walk around the house. Some more bored. When's Amanda coming up? For real, sir. Where's your job? What's my job? Do I work from home? Oh, I just remembered something. When we were packing up the old house, we found an old basketball hoop that would hang off a door. It would really bring the living room together. I wonder where I put that. I spend a couple minutes poking around the new place until I find it. After installing it above one of the doors in the living room, I'm about ready to dunk. Come on in, Slam! And welcome to the jam! I take a leap, three throw line, and rocket that sucker down the neck. The crowd goes, whoa! Yeah! And welcome to the jam. Huh. I turn around and see the man standing in the doorway. Her eyes are a little puffy. Oh no! Oh, she's been crying. Hey, Amanda Panda, you alright? I'm fine. What are you doing? I, uh, I found the hoop and then. Take you to the hole. Ah. Pass me the rock. Handle this. What's a rebound? Oh, uh, when somebody misses a shot and the other player tries 
The other players try to retrieve it. That's uh, yeah. just kidding. Thank God. I mean, it's exact past me and tips all the way up into the hoop. Art of War, bitches. Yeah! Amanda, language! Sun Tzu didn't care about language. I would argue that Sun Tzu cared very much about language, so once you write something as timeless as the art of war, then you're allowed to swear. Mana sticks at her tongue and dunks, another, dunks for another two points. Seriously though, you okay? You look like you've been crying. Oh, dude, I'm cool. Oh shoot. I clicked before I could read it. Oh no, I'm turning up just thinking about it. You know you can talk to me about anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's why I'm talking about my love of French Bulldogs with you. What do the French Bulldogs symbolize? Okay, just remember, it's okay to be sad. And also remember that I love you very much. You only want what's best for you. That's all. Alright, alright, jeez, don't make me cry again. Oh. Okay, just making sure. I'm gonna have to go. I took so much time looking at Dad Book and I sent one message. Who does that? If you're on there and you want to talk to people and make friends, definitely send more than one message. My Iron Bull's really bad at this. really hope I can get back to it. Um, or maybe someone will show up at my door. I don't know. Well, that's Dr. Shar signing off for my first episode at our new apartment. So happy to share it with you. Please subscribe and like if you do like those things. Or not. I'm not the boss of you. Anyway, see you later, Dr. Shar. And